What is up everybody, Trace Brown back here again with another video. Today we're gonna be diving a spot called the Mailbox located on the seawall here in Okinawa, Japan. And of course, you guys will be coming along to see what we can find once we're out there. First things first, I wanna say thank you guys for all the support on the last video. By you guys reaching out and doing that for me really helps me continue to make content and put it out on YouTube for you guys. Also, if it's your first time here, consider subscribing, drop a like and a comment, and let me know what you think of the video. So that way you guys can come with us on all our adventures to help keep the oceans clean here in Okinawa, Japan. So right now we're gonna go ahead and walk down and check the sea conditions at the seawall, and then go from there, come back, kit up, and get in the water. Let's go. Alrighty guys, so we made it down here to the seawall. This is actually only about a two minute walk from my house, which makes it really nice. So we won't have to drive anywhere. We'll literally be able to put on all our stuff, walk down here and get directly in the water. Right now the sea conditions are a little bit choppy. Um, this is nothing that we haven't dealt with before, so it should be pretty easy. We're gonna go ahead and head back to the house, get everything put on, come down here, and see what we can find, so uh, let's do it. It's its name from having distinct black uniform stripes that cover its bluish gray body. It averages 35 inches in length with a large paddle shaped tail adapted for water. The banded sea crates venom is among some of the most toxic on earth and is 10 times more potent than that of a rattlesnake. The snake is well adapted for hunting in shallow waters and coral reefs, which it uses to its advantage in catching prey, which mostly consists of eel and small fish. All right, so we just finished up with dive one. We didn't really find much when we were down there. Mackenzie was pretty much the real MVP when it come to founding all the trash. Um, we found for some reason there were brand new zip ties wrapped completely around a piece of coral. So we cut both of those off and into what I think is a bag, which is gross and I don't know why I'm touching it. It's like a, into a, like a wire bag. Um, and another zip tie. It's some trash. But other than that, we didn't really find much down there this time. Saw a lot of cool stuff. Um, but other than that, we're gonna take all this stuff, put it in the trash where it should have been in the first place, and get ready to head down for dive two. What you watching? Uh, art. Art? Yeah. Someone's painting an apple. It's a good way to spend a surface interval. <laughs> okay, we got everything done here for the first dive. It's a good thing about living so close to the water. Can't even see me. It's a good thing about living so close to the water is we literally just suit up here and walk right down there behind Ron's beautiful shirtless self. Oh my goodness, let me get that out of frame. Look at that. Water's right there. So we don't have far to go. Run. Ron. 
sorry. Okay, okay well, okay. I don't know what to say. I go blank. Yeah, what's going on? We'll talk about it. What is up, everyone? We're diving here today. Yeah. Stay tuned. Nice. Killed it. You know how Ron does it. Ron, what's going on here, man? What are you doing? Sending this next tank to, to get this dive in. There you go. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> I have to let, like if I have to, if I want to do a video, I have to talk like think it through. You gotta think it through. Yeah. Well, this is going to. End, I mean, you're live. For sure. For sure. Find anything good on the last dive, Ron? Uh, Giant Raleigh. Yeah. Yeah. That was about it. Some yeah. barracuda. Some barracuda. Oh, Whole gang of barracuda. Oh, barracuda. <laughs> <laughs> See you on the other side. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright guys, we made it back from the last dive. We actually found a lot more stuff on that one and we actually found probably the coolest thing I have found to date in the water. Um, of course, we got some plastic bottles and we found part of an old buoy. Looks like it's been down there for a while. I had to break it in half to get it into the bag because I don't have that much space under there anymore now that we started filling up with bigger things. Um, this time we found We found a couple of these. This isn't the first time we found one of these. They're connected with string. I don't know what it's from or what it is, but they're always gross and they always look like they've been down there for like two and a half years. Um, the first thing I hit with the metal detector was this lead ball, which I thought was something to do with the, actually I think it is a fishing weight. Yeah, there's a hole in the middle of it there. I don't know if you can see that. There's a hole in the middle. So that was pretty cool. First I thought it was like a bullet or something sweet, you know, from the war. <laughs> but no, it's just a, a lead ball. And then hands down, the coolest, oh my goodness, okay, I thought I lost it. <laughs> the coolest find of the day, period, was this old, like, weird necklace. It's like, it's like some crystal necklace. Judging by the chain, it's been down there for quite some time, but this thing is so freaking sweet. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I'm definitely not gonna wear it, it's not my style, but hands down, the coolest thing I have found to date in the water. We're gonna go ahead and get this stuff put in the trash where it should have been in the first place. If it's your first time here, consider subscribing, and drop a like on the video, and let me know down in the comment section below what your favorite find was. So yeah, that kind of sums it up for today's video. Um, remember, it is what it is, and everything happens for a reason. Y'all stay tuned. I'll see you guys on the next dive. Peace. I'm, I'm like looking at myself the whole time, though. I have to be looking yeah, at the looking camera. At the camera. Sorry. <laughs>